in this video I will show you how you can create magical lighting effect using Photoshop. Hey what's up guys Thrill here and in this tutorial I will use this cosplay of Elsa and this glass texture and both of the images are from daventart.com and if you want to use these images the download link is in description they are free so feel free to use it. Now to start this tutorial first of all we need to unlock this thing so double click on this and hit ok then press ctrl j so it will make a duplicate of it and then go to image adjustment and go to shadows and highlights and you probably need to do nothing you can just adjust highlights a touch uh, since it's a bit glowy but uh, this seems fine to me and hit ok nothing much to do but the effect is awesome now as you can see she is holding this really beautiful snowflake in her hand and we need to make it glow like give it a rim lighting and for that we need to make a selection so I'm gonna use this magical lasso tool and after that create a new blank layer don't forget this step uh, it is really important so make sure it is a new layer and then start uh, drawing a selection around it it doesn't have to be accurate just a little bit accurate will be fine and if you miss some of the spots you can use your backspace or delete key to like go back and uh, adjust it again and again you can use any tool you want uh, simple brush would be fine uh, I will show you why so let's make a selection first and uh, I'm gonna fast forward this part so that we can save some time So the selection is ready and now once the selection is ready make sure you have selected this tool don't change it then right click and select stroke and make sure you do it in middle of selection not outside and after that in the color make sure it's a white color hit ok and first try with 4 or 5 pixel the bigger the pixel the thicker the stroke will get so 4 stroke is not enough 4 pixel is not enough for me so I'm gonna right click stroke and give it more like 10% uh, and hit ok so that seems fine now if I zoom out and now to get rid of the selection press ctrl D now if you look at it it looks horrible but uh, once you go to filter blur and go to Gaussian blur and uh, give it a bit of a blur not way too much uh, keep going on until it gets really beautiful and fuzzy now that looks awesome and hit ok once that is done double click here not on the name in the side double click here and select outer glow and in the outer glow instead of this yellow color uh, select something shinish or bluish the blue superpowers Elsa has uh, something like that and uh, hit ok now here you can spread this thing uh, no sorry uh, increase the size so it will make it glow even better and then you can change the counter here whatever one you like uh, if you want to be creative or something like that so I think this looks fine uh, hit ok or maybe normal one is also better so uh, let's say this one is fine now you need to do one more thing so for that create another blank layer and uh, in the color palette go here and paste in the color uh, the code is 61B9B9 and it doesn't have to be exactly this just some bluish color would be fine and hit ok now grab your make sure that you have selected your brush tool from here and then make it big enough I'm using my big bracket key uh, to make it bigger and smaller so make it big enough that it covers the snowflake and uh, make a click and maybe one more then change the blending mode to soft light then duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl J and this time instead of soft light change the blending mode to screen so as you can see it has created really beautiful glow around snowflake and uh, it looks really good and if you think you want to make the glow bigger uh, select your glow layer this one and then press ctrl T and this way you can make it bigger if you want so that looks fine and enter to confirm it now after that uh, let's create another blank layer and do not change your color uh, be consistent with it so once that is done uh, start painting on her skin like this and if this looks weird to you change the blending mode to screen and then start painting and don't worry it looks horrible right now but we'll make it better so something like that uh, it will take some time to paint it properly but do it and take your time and paint a bit here 
and let's zoom in and then start painting here on her fingers and here a bit and a little here something like that seems fine now to make it look better go and change your opacity to let's say 15 to 20 percent until it fades in properly and like looks natural so as you can see now it looks like that there is glow on her face now to make it look like that it's actually glowing in the dark uh, go to your adjustment layers and select curves and in the curves make it darker from here uh, like that so that seems fine to me and then uh, and here as you can see you have a mask so when you paint with black color in that mask it will remove the curves effect from that area so i have my brush tool and i'm painting here like that so if I turn it on enough, you can see that uh, it works only on the other area, not on the glowing part. And I may go here and decrease the opacity of this thing a little bit so that it looks even natural. Okay, that looks better. And once this is done, uh, you need to go back to the curves. So you double click here and it will open the curves and go into the red. Now the opposite color of red is cyan. So when you increase this portion from here, it will give it a bit of a cyanish feeling that blue like look we are trying to get. So if I turn it on and off now, you can see that it has that cyanish look that like like looks really awesome. So that's fine. Now to make effect even stronger, click on this curves option and make a duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl J now go back and this is way too strong so we need to make it less denser so this seems fine now if i turn it on and off you can see that it it has started taking shape now let's adjust some couple of things that we can like adjust to make it look even better so i'm gonna go here and make it even bigger until it matches like the look i want so that seems fine uh, better and this seems fine good now we need to uh, bring in those magical particles so you can see like I have this texture ready here and uh, this is from Deventer as I said you can use this the download link is in description people keep asking me so uh, to get this texture in that document press ctrl A and then press ctrl C so it will copy it then come here and press ctrl V now to make it smaller press ctrl T and hold your shift key when you are scaling it so that seems fine and hit enter and then change the blending mode to screen so let's go here and change it to screen so as you can see it has started taking shape but it looks really fuzzy so to get rid of that uh, you have to go to image adjustment and here you have option of levels so in the levels uh, you need to adjust this uh, take this slider here and this slider here and this slider here until you are left with only and only those uh, little little particles cool now press ctrl T and make it small enough that it is only on the glowing area. So let's put it here uh, like this, uh, something like that. And let's put it here. Hit enter. Now as you can see it more looks like a square instead of a circle. So for that you need to apply a layer mask. And once you apply the mask and you have brush selected, paint with uh, black color and make sure your hardness is 0% so start painting like this uh, and uh, as you can see now it has started taking shape of that glowing particles and uh, keep like keep some patience don't rush this thing now you need to make a duplicate of this thing so press ctrl j so it is it is more effective press ctrl t and rotate it a bit and then hit enter then let's uh, make another copy of it and then press ctrl t and rotate it a little bit and this time let's make it a little bit bigger so that it looks like even awesome hit enter and uh, let's make another copy don't worry about it like make as many copies as you want until it looks like really awesome to you uh, press ctrl T and let's do it something like this now that uh, so that it doesn't look like a mess uh, select this layer and uh, use your control key like press it down and then click on all of this layer and then press ctrl G so everything is inside the group and when you open it you can still access everything so just a little less mess okay this looks awesome now we need to do is just a couple of adjustments so for that go to your adjustment layers and select a solid color and in the solid instead of this really bright blue that we are using uh, select a, like a dull color bit and hit ok and change the blending mode to color dodge 
uh, looks horrible <laughs> don't worry about it just make it zero uh, opacity and then start increasing it until it seems fine so let's turn it on and off uh, seems really good uh, maybe 15% would do also better so let's see yep that seems also fine and then create another adjustment layer and select this time where is gradient map and in the gradient map uh, let's go here and select this violet and orange it is default uh, uh, like everyone has this uh, gradient so go here and then instead of this yellowish color go here and change it to a cyanish color so let's go here and make it cyan something like that a bright bright cyan cool and hit ok and then you need to change the blend mode to soft light and decrease the opacity to let's say 50% uh, seems fine 50 45 cool now if you turn it on and off uh, the final look is like really getting ready it looks awesome so that looks nice and now go to your adjustment layer and select brightness contrast and increase the brightness to like let's say 40% or maybe 30 seems fine and then select your mask and press ctrl i so everything on this layer is hidden now select your brush tool and select a white color so if you paint with now white color the brightness will show up only in those areas and uh, so that you have control over like where you need the brightness so I'm just gonna painting uh, gonna paint it on her hands and something like that and when you paint using the same image avoid painting it on her breast since it is already really bright so that seems fine and here you can like adjust it so if I turn it on and off you can see the difference and if you don't want it here as it looks really bright uh, you can just paint here like this and it will not show up so as you can see it seems really awesome so this is done and now the final step so go here and select your photo filter from here and in the photo filter you have this really good uh, cooling filter and in the cooling filter just uh, decrease the density to let's say 14 or maybe 5 7 percent so that seems good so the final output is ready and the best thing I love about this work process is that now if you want to adjust anything let's say like this looks really bright as you can see so I can just go and decrease the opacity to let's say something down and it is looking better now so you have control over everything and you can adjust anything so if I select this couple of things here and then uh, select my move tool so I can move it here and that's ready so and here is the after before side by side comparison so that's it for this video and if you really did learn something hit that like button or comment something if you have any question or something like that it helps my video a lot now if you want to learn how to create this type of effect in natural background and with some different coloring effects click the box on the left or if you want to learn how you can create a photo effect only using the default things inside photoshop click the box on the right also you can subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you will get an update plus you can go to my channel and check out more than 60 free photoshop tutorials so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop